Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of According to Seth. We are back, baby, and we are talking Spider-Man No Way Home. There are spoilers ahead, so please, for the love of God, if you haven't seen the movie, don't watch this yet, because you need to see the movie. You can't have it be spoiled. It is just too damn good for that to happen. So please, don't watch any further if you don't want to be spoiled. You've been warned, because we're getting into it. Um, first of all, having both Andrew and Toby back was just phenomenal. Like, first of all, Garfield steals the show. I never really, like, liked his movies as much. The Amazing Spider-Man was great, the first one. Second one was weird. It was iffy. But his arc in this movie and just, like, how he really plays the character, like, you can tell he really loves it. And honestly, I want more. I need more Andrew Garfield. He was a highlight for me. And the fact that we got his arc of saving... um Saving MJ after he couldn't save Gwen was just like the icing on the cake. And it honestly, I was so happy because he was so sad. And it was just so amazing to have that full arc. Honestly, all of the characters, just their arcs. Like it felt like everything from the past Spider-Man movies, obviously Toby's, Garfield's, Tom's, all of it led up to this one film. And you could tell it just felt so co cohesive. So John Watts, hats off to you for make, you know writing one of the best Spider-Man films ever made. Um, the villains, I don't even know where to begin. Green Goblin is unreal. Willem Dafoe really just takes his character to another level. Like, you can tell in his facial expressions. And I also read that he only signed on to the movie, to do the movie, if he could do his own stunts. Which is just amazing. Like, you, come on. And then Doc Ock was great. Um, some of the amazing moments. I mean, you got freaking Daredevil coming back. Charlie Cox, my boy! Like, nobody else could have played that role. And I love that he catches the brick, and Spider-Man's like, well, how'd you do that? And he's like, I'm a really good lawyer. It's just just so good. Um, a lot of this was just fan service. I mean, you got the Spider-Man meme, which was fantastic. Um, a lot of different callbacks and things from previous films. And then one of my favorite scenes in the movie, um, obviously you have Garfield saving MJ, but I loved when they were all on the... Um, Statue of Liberty, and they're all swinging, and then they have that shot with them against the moon, um, and it's just the three of them. And like at that moment, I was like, "This is the Spider-Man film we wanted." And even for Tom Holland, like this was his like becoming Peter Parker role. Like I always thought of him as kind of like a kid; he wasn't ready for it. Um, but like his arc at the end of this film, he's a full-on adult. Like he's grown up. All in all, I don't know where the heck they're going to go with Marvel next. Like, they're getting too big for the britches, but they've done it before, so I have faith in them. I hope we get Venom now. It doesn't look like Tom Hardy is going to be the Venom in this universe because he left the symbiote behind, which is an end credit, but we'll 